Cereal. Waffles. Maple syrup. Breakfast. No! no! Think simple, but impressive. And obviously the type of thing that I whip up during the interval when all my mates come around for the football. It's called half time. And then we're going head to head to head to create our own version. And see who's can win the internet. I have no idea what you regular folk eat in the middle of the football game. Pizza. Nachos. Nachos on pizza. <laughs> so either way, I'm going to come up with something that completely reinvents the halftime snack. Because we're going to make barbecue chicken and homemade waffle batter, but we're also going to cram the batter with loads of cornflakes to kick this into the next league. <laughs> <laughs> So let's start with the waffle batter, simple staple ingredients. This is your lineup. We want flour, sugar, and a pinch of baking powder into the bowl. If you want the weights and measurements, you can get those down below. Give that a little whisk up to get rid of any lumps in the sugar. So a little bit of salt as well, just to season it. So we want to separate the eggs. So just pass the yolk from shell to shell. The yolks go into the flour mixture, and then you whisk this up as you throw in the milk. That's half the batter. Now we're going to whip up the egg whites and fold it in. And that gives it a nice, fluffy texture to our waffles. And lob them in here. And fold it in nice and carefully. To make it great, we want to add in some cornflakes. You want about two and a half bowls worth, so it's a surprising amount. Mix it all in. Now for this, we've got a waffle iron preheated. If you haven't got one, you can just do this as pancake batter in a pan. But we're going to go for the waffle iron. Enough to cover the base, but also enough left back in the bowl for later. I like the look of this. Clamp that down, it will need about three or four minutes to cook over a medium heat. In the meantime, we can make the simplest barbecue sauce ever. So a bunch of staple ingredients we just mix together to make the most incredible barbecue sauce. It starts with any barbecue sauce you want, but to add to that, we're going to add a splash of red wine vinegar, a drizzle of maple syrup, a pinch of smoked paprika, and a pinch of cayenne. Heat that up on the stove over a gentle heat and tear into it some cooked chicken. The whole thing will come out. Pile that up. Plenty of our barbecue chicken. So there we go, you've got the crispy bits of the waffle, you've got the soft succulent chicken, but on top of that, a few extra cornflakes for added crunch. You're a madman. A drizzle of maple syrup. This is genuinely impressive. And a sprig of fresh thyme. Ah, oh, you've ruined it. <laughs> and there we go. That right there is our barbecue chicken cornflakes waffle sorted. Let's put this to the test and make things interesting. We're going to take Ben's base recipe and adapt it to suit our own personalities to show you how easy it is to change it up. Our aim is to make them look as good as possible. We're then going to upload these to Instagram and see who gets the most likes. The most likes equals the winner. Let's do this. Now, I think I've won the internet already. This is a Japanese inspired version of chicken on waffles. Forget that rubbish, the winner's right here. I'm going to use the batter to create the waffle like Ben did at the beginning, but then I'm going to turn that into a pizza. I've got some tomato sauce knocking about, so I'm going to put that on the top with some parmesan and some cheddar cheese, add some parma ham on the top, grill it, melt it, win it. Let's get on with the real winner, shall we? We're going, not waffles, but what? better than... I've also got mascarpone. Not waffles, but a stack of pancakes. And then we're going to top it off with our barbecue chicken, but we're going to add some extra spice to it. We've got some chilies, we've got some cayenne pepper, and we've got some special hot sauce. I've got some chives I'm going to stick into the waffle mix, my half-time orange, some sesame seeds, some quail eggs, and I've replaced my... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Store-covered ingredients. Store right, immediately disqualified. Anyway, as I was saying, I've replaced my American barbecue sauce with some Japanese barbecue sauce. Okay, so this is what they look like, but as important, we need to taste them. So, 
dig in. Where are we going? Left to right? Oh, I'll go to the pizza first, Ben, because this is just the best one here. I'll take your word for it. Yeah. For something that I just chucked stuff on top of, that's <laughs> quite well balanced. Over here, Japanese inspired. Right, the barbecue's still there, and the creaminess in the avocado. Mm -hmm. That is a really fluffy, light cornflake pancake. Yeah. I think we've done a fantastic job. And they're all quick enough to make in literally like 15, 20 minutes, job done. That is great. To be fair, you are a chef, so that should be the best, but that is delicious. <laughs> well done, us. Great job, everyone. Not up to us, though. Let's see how the pictures do. If you like the look of everything we just cooked, then get the recipe in the box downstairs. And if you like this video, then don't forget to like this video. Mm -hmm. But until next time, see you later. Bye. Cheerio. Got any ideas for snacks using Kellogg's cereals? Share your photos on Kellogg's Facebook page using the hashtag, because yum. Yeah.